and we'll you know see. What's so attractive about younger women? Because we a lot of these dudes talk about fertility and, yeah. and looks and stuff. I don't actually think it's that. I think that in the modern world, in the, in the days of old, right, you'd meet a woman, you get married, you'd be together, whatever. Though. In the modern world, if I meet a girl who's 33 and single, I know the amount of dick that's been through her before yeah. me is just simply unattractive. I don't care how nice you are, yeah, yeah. but you're 33 years old. Yeah. How many men have fun? If I get a 19-year-old girl, I might be her second or third man, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to be dude number fucking 29. Yeah. And all the trauma and heartbreak and bullshit they put you through, you're going to try and bring to my door? Yeah. Like, well, my last man cheated. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't care. Like, why is that my problem? So if you pick up older women, you have to accept They've been on the carousel longer. They've had more fucking rides, more spins. Yeah. I don't want that shit. And when I see a beautiful young woman, I know that she has a very low body count. And that, and, and also, no, but, no, but the truth is this. <laughs> women's mentality is absolutely connected to sex. If a woman sleeps with a bunch of men, yeah. it's harder to penetrate her mind and make her fall in love with It is unattractive, too. And it's unattractive. It is. But if she's, like, if she's had 30 dudes inside of her, she, she really didn't think, you know what, this guy's so, so, so special. Or she didn't think, you know what, he talked to me real, let's go get a new guy. Whereas if a woman's only been with a few guys, she's much more likely to fall in love with you, be a better partner. So the likelihood of her falling completely in love with you and staying loyal to you and, and really believing you're the only man for her after being through so much trauma and so many men and sleeping with so many dudes and having her heart broken and having those memories of her ex and all that crap she's been through is far less likely than meeting a nice, young, beautiful girl who hasn't been with many men. And she goes, you know what? This is the guy. I, I like him. Every woman who knows this and every man who watches this can be honest. Women fall in love with the person they lose their virginity to or their second or third guy. They really remember them. They really love them. Da -da. Any woman who slept with 50 dudes, she doesn't even remember who most of them are. She doesn't care. If a woman slept with a bunch of men before you, she's less likely to stick it out through a difficult period in a relationship. She's more likely to just say, you know what? New answers, new dick. That's a pretty and, good and, answer. And that's the truth. Let me make something clear. If I meet a beautiful 30-year-old woman, I'm not saying I won't sleep with her. That's pretty fucking old. Yeah. Yeah. 30? I know. What are you, crazy? I, I, there's been times I was drunk. Okay, bring it back, Chris. We'll go. Uh, so, do you guys want to give your reaction to that video, Kylie? What the fuck, I fucking bro? Hate him. <laughs> Jesus Christ! He's Andrew so Tate, ladies and gentlemen. I just, I, that is just to me, in my opinion. I feel like he's really blowing it up a little bit, like his actual, genuine reaction to the, their question, just so he could be controversial and like all the women in the comments are like super mad. I'm like, oh my god, like how dare he? You know, like how dare he say that? So I really hope that he's not actually like that but just watching that like he can be like oh 30 that's so old i'm like how old are you you fucking bald man like what are you talking oh. about yeah i don't oh. know like, it's just, like, I, I don't I like that. that kind of talk i don't get that it's not we shouldn't bald shame him no he's no fucking, it suits bald. him I'm sorry he's got nice he's got a nice uh yeah. you know, no, no 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 when he's when he's fucking that 19 year old girl she's gonna grip onto no hair bro yeah. she's gonna slip <laughs> on that bald scalp <laughs> <laughs> like I think I think Andrew point. Tate is 35. By the way, I think Andrew Tate is ugly. <laughs> I think he's a good-looking guy. I don't really. Think, the personality ruins it. The personality really? ruins it. Or yeah. does it make him? Does it make it? No, it makes you want to fucking hate him. So you I guys, you dislike Andrew Tate? Yeah, no shit. <laughs> okay. And it concerns me that I have a slight, like a suspicious feeling that you secretly like him, and that makes me kind of sad. He I doesn't don't secretly don't like him. You like? I, I feel don't, like you like him. So I he loves Andrew Tate. Hold, you want to fuck on, Andrew on. Tate, bro? <laughs> but everything he said, though, is come at least in my opinion, is not true at well, all. Let, let me just come in real quick. Okay. I don't agree with Andrew Tate on everything. I agree with him on a lot. I think he's a very funny guy. So, yeah. Continue. Yeah. He's so funny. He speaks the truth. Yeah. Totally. He is a funny Such guy. Fuck. He's an yeah. entertainer. He's very yeah, I funny. I don't know guy. if I would say funny. I would say entertaining. In the same yeah. way that Which Donald makes Trump is funny. Exactly. It's so fucking ridiculous that it makes you laugh. You're like, are you fucking kidding me? That's Jesus. Um, yeah, no, but everything he did say, I think is we need completely. To get you a spinner, by I the know, way. I'm, I'm taking sorry. That I can't You're help banned. it, man. You're, You're banned. With this. Okay, I Why can't did you help write it. Handcuffs earlier is because oh. you oh, were fidgeting. Because we want to bring handcuffs and like yeah. handcuff each other. Yeah, we I, were talking about it. Like, it'd be kind of <laughs> funny if like we were all handcuffed to each other, and so every time we talk, it'd be like a little jolty jolt. I have handcuffs. Or it also if you want be... me to bring them. Wow. Oh, tell us okay. about those. Can you find those on your OnlyFans? Yeah. Kylie. Hey, Chris, I think Only we fans. need to... Do you think we need to adjust the exposure a little bit on the center? What do you think, Chris? Yeah. You may want to just change the angle here. Um, so continue on with... Uh, or, Aline, what, why don't you give us your take? So uh, he's... Let me just, like, clarify. He's, he's saying that, oh, he wants a 19-year-old over a 30-year-old because they've had less experience with men. 
less body counts. Yeah, they so it makes him in bed count. look better because they don't know what's good or not. <laughs> Is that what he's oh. saying? Yeah, basically. It's he's well. He's saying. He he's prefers saying that like a younger girl because the, they're more pure or whatever. He does prefer younger women because not because they're more attractive or any of the. Well, I guess those are other factors, but. What he's saying is it's because more likely than not at 19 years old you're going to have slept with fewer people than when you're going to be at 20 at 29. okay my challenge to andrew tate is um if he really valued personality and uh love and like being able to care wouldn't a 30 year old have those that maturity to have those emotions rather than a 19 year old who isn't mature enough or grown up enough to understand all that plus most 19 year old girls nowadays are out partying they're out hooking up because that's what 19 year old girls do in college so why would a 19 year old girl versus a 30 year old girl who is also much more suitable for your age by the way um more appealing besides her opposed body count because it makes her easier because she doesn't know fully what she's getting into. Yeah, that's but that's like what he said. He said it's like easier for yeah. her to fall in love with him. Like it exactly. Because is that a bad thing for a guy to want though? No, I mean I understand wanting to get someone to fall in love with you, but intentionally like manipulating the situation where you're like I want to be, like I want to have that large age gap so she doesn't know what she wants yet, and I want her to think that she wants me. Okay. Yeah, basically, and when it comes to the body count thing and. Him thinking that younger women have less of a body count. I mean, to me, that just screams, I want a girl that doesn't have as much experience. So she doesn't know how bad I am in bed. <laughs> Why wouldn't you want a girl with more experience in bed? That's, yeah, what, seriously. that's what I don't understand about like any of this argument. It's like, oh, I want a girl with a low body count. Like what? So she can lay there yeah. and do nothing as opposed to like actually taking charge in the bedroom, like yeah. knowing what she's doing. Like I... That whole argument just falls apart for me there. <laughs> Dude, same. Like, genuinely, though, why... I still don't understand why it matters. Body it's count. Like, like, why does body count matter? Yeah, I think it's ridiculous, and I don't think it should matter at all. I mean, Because you just have different explained. parts of your life. Well, I know, but he it's just explains a few reasons. That pussy yeah. won't be stretched And out. it's manipulative. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually, Wait, what? that scientifically Wait, that's, is incorrect. That's not true. That, 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 that is way. not true, by that the way. That is correct. That, that is not true. <laughs> that was a joke. I, I know, know, but I know. know guys. Yeah. I, I'm playing the devil's advocate. Loose yeah. pussy, bro. Hot <laughs> dog in a hallway. I think body count does matter, but I think his argument is not valid because... There's so many way. There's so many holes in his argument that just doesn't make any sense. Like I just said, but anyways, body count does matter to an extent. It doesn't. It doesn't dictate the whole thing. Just to a small extent, where it does matter. But mostly personality, habits, how you treat other people. That's what actually matters. Agreed. Any any takes on the video? Um. I think actually throughout the whole video, I was impressively distracted by his reactiveness that I had a hard time following what he mm -hmm. was actually saying. Mm -hmm. I was like, why is he so profusely angry or passionate yeah. about whatever he's saying? He's right very clickbaity. Yeah. Yeah. I was just like, I mean, it's a good and smart approach if you want views, and mm -hmm. which is why Brian tends to play the devil's advocate because the more extreme you are, the more views we'll get because shockingness is exactly. yeah, the best I, way to get views. So but. instead of actually paying attention to what he was saying, I was imagining what would happen if all four of us just like screamed at each other our opinions, and I was just not impressed by that. Anyways, my actual opinion on what he's saying, um, it made me disappointed because I have a hard time believing that he doesn't have a high body count. Yeah. Oh, and he must have a high body sure. count. Exactly. <laughs> he yeah. definitely has a high body count. Although I do understand what he's saying about, like, like if he doesn't want to be with a woman who has 50 men on her, her tally, he doesn't want to be another tally if he's looking for love or a connection, I suppose. But that's all in the quality of woman that you would choose. Like, if you're looking for a casual hookup, get a casual hookup. If you're looking for a relationship, then take the steps necessary to... <laughs> take the steps necessary to engage in a relationship agreed it doesn't 
As long as you're both on the same page, who cares? If you both want the same thing. It's Andrew Tate. Page. Yeah, oh my god, look. Whoa. Oh, oh my god. So funny, it's Andrew Tate. Why was he wearing sunglasses inside? Start talking really because fast. Because he's ugly. Get a really spray loud. tan and then yeah. shave off all of your hair. And then be Top a complete G. asshole at all. Top guys. striker. By the way, Andrew Tate Bruv. will Bruv. Andrew Tate will be on the show. We're going to get Wait, like confirmed? In November. No way. It's confirmed. Are we going to be there? You said last Ali- time we could Ali- be there. Yes, you, you guys will we be there. Be there. Oh, yeah. I'm so I'll, I'll Aline chill. saw I'll the chill. DMs, so you can ask Aline. She saw the confirmation. Uh, yeah, Andrew Table, we're going to get him on the show. I think it's November. He's coming to the States. So you already, stay tuned you have, for that. Basically, oh, have promised the three of us to be there. You've said it twice yeah, in two different shows. Yeah. You guys can be there. Hell yeah. You guys can be there. Be okay, nice cool. to him, though. Oh, no, oh, no, no I'll be, be nice. so sweet. The I won't keep his car. The only reason about? that um, I made the bald comment, I wasn't trying to bald shame him. It's just like something about him just makes me upset. Like the way that he, he's all over my for you page now. And it makes me so upset because I wake up in the morning and I just see him being like, Oh, if a man like fucks another woman, but he has like his girlfriend in his heart, it's not cheating. But if she looks at another man, it's cheating. And I'm just like, what? So dumb. what? <laughs> what? I would love to just like actually meet him and see what he's like. You it's like, I mean? dude, get your head out of your ass. Like, You're I'm not care. that bald, bald men can be attractive. It's just like yeah. the personality, it just ruins it. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's like if, like, don't get me wrong, societally, if you're bald, you already have something against you. Why make it worse by being a complete idiot and a douchebag, you know? Get a toupee. Like, <laughs> exactly. Get some hair plugs. Actually, don't. Those, Those don't work. They don't work very well. They're not work. great.